So Eric, it's the first time you've been like really healthy. Mm -hmm. You've always been kind of coming back from an injury or worrying about it. And this is like the first time you've been really healthy. You seem like there's more bounce in your step now too. I mean, you have no choice. I mean, when you're sitting out that long and you just, you know, just watching and antsy and want to get out there and prove yourself, you know, you just you have no choice to come out there with bounce, especially with my character, especially with how I play, my personnel. So, you know, yeah, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very much so happy to be back out there and I don't take it for granted. So, you know, sometimes they say injury forces you to become more of a student because you can't play. How much more have you learned about the game because you had to go through this? Not only in terms of getting your body right, but understanding basketball a little more. Tons, tons. You know, when I was with the Kings and I was and I was hurt, I just used that to, to learn every day, every day to be a professional on and off the court too. You know, being uh, a professional off the court was a super important uh, part of what I needed to learn. So um, I got to learn that part and also schemes and schematics and uh, just learning like how to how to go about everyday life it's in the NBA and trying to, trying to be the best you can out there. When you choose to do a summer league and you've been kind of through this, some guys say, look, I've done enough. Mm -hmm. why, why did you feel the need to do summer league? Uh, just I like to play basketball, and I've been hurt. So, you know, just to, just to get a chance to get back out there and show these teams that may have not got a chance to see me or, or may not have been interested, just to get back out there and show them that I'm ready to go. Put one in the stands today. Did you remind them that you're a, a shot blocker too? I uh, hope they didn't forget. Uh, if they do, I'm just going to keep going for them. I'm going to keep going. I hope they don't forget that. A lot of teams starting to express some interest here, and, you know, it's quite a few. You may have your choice. What is the right situation for you now? Right situation, um, right now I need to finish summer league first. I got to keep doing what I'm doing and um, and just go from there. I'm not really – I can't focus on that right now. Uh, if I start worrying about that, I might go out there and have a dud. So I, I just um, lock it in for the rest of these few games, and then we'll go from there. I know that Jeff Bauer's been spending a lot of time with you. When you have the GM of the team spending as much time with you, do you start to feel like maybe you got a real shot here? Um, I would hope so. You know, he every day after practice we shoot free throws together, and I appreciate his time because you don't have to do that with, with pe little guys like me. You know what I'm saying? So um, I really do appreciate stuff like that. I tell him every day how much how, how gratifying that is just to you know come out there and help me. Like he doesn't have to do that. So that that means a lot to me, and uh, you know hopefully it turns into something. Seems like they're taking a real interest in trying to understand you as a person. How does that make you feel as a player? Because a lot of times, this is a cold business. Um, it, it means a lot to me because you know I, I think people can get misunderstood with how emotional I get on the court and think that you know I'm, I'm, I'm you know could be a bad person or whatever they say. I don't know what they say, but you know I'm really emotional. I'm really competitor. You know, I, like sometimes I want to channel my energy better. You know, to to do it on the court, leave let refs alone, and you know just. Be that, be that good teammate, be that good person. So, you know, I want to get a chance for these teams to see me in person, and, and, and this is who I am. Last one for you here. You know, the NBA game is evolving a lot, and it seems like the five positions now a lot more like you play. Are you really seeing that the game maybe is coming to you in a way maybe it didn't even a couple of years ago? Yeah, you got guys like Draymond is 6'7", six, 6'8", six, playing center, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I know I can do that. I know I'm a hybrid big that can do a lot of things, can get high on pick, can get up on pick and rolls, can get back on pick and rolls, can can uh, be in the uh, passing lanes. I can be all over the place. So um, I can play out of the pick and roll on offense. I can find guys. So I think that I, I do belong here. And the wingspan isn't bad either. Wingspan isn't bad. I, I wish we always a couple more inches, but we good. We good right now. <laughs>